spray or pepper spray to subdue them and to get them to follow direction and get out. At 770 Eastern Parkway, that's the Labadovich Abad headquarters, they were having some work done. And, you know, as they were installing some new pipes, they broke through into a tunnel that ran below the building. And they were very surprised by this. It turns out that a small number of the students at the shul, who were actually here from Israel, were digging a tunnel from the basement into adjoining buildings and taking the dirt and actually filling up a disused communal bath house. Our first stop on the Hasidic tour of Brooklyn is in Williamsburg, specifically South Williamsburg. The areas around Flushing and Lee Avenue are the most Hasidic parts of the city. This part of Brooklyn is home to the Satmar sect, which is the strictest sect of Hasidic Jew. This neighborhood is really closed off and people in this neighborhood do not have access to internet. In fact, they have to use electronics that are certified by the Hasidic community. So you'll see a lot of people on flip phones that don't have internet. This is a pretty big contrast compared to the other parts of Williamsburg, which are predominantly hipsters and young urban professionals. You can see lots of private schools and all the school buses in this neighborhood are written in Yiddish. The neighborhood's really closed off. What's also pretty crazy about this neighborhood is that this community was built under the largest welfare network in America and almost every business in South Williamsburg is listed as a synagogue so that these people don't really have to pay taxes. They've been involved in lots of fraud and government related issues. Overdevelopment is another really big issue in this neighborhood because most of these families have like 10 to 15 kids on average. So there's a lot of growth in these communities. You'll see little kids all over the place, sometimes groups of them. And a lot of the time, you'll see dozens of bikes and scooters in front of one house. Now, I didn't really stop in Williamsburg. The next neighborhood we're going to look at is Borough Park, where I got a chance to walk around a little bit. However, it was during Shabbat, and the neighborhood was really empty, and absolutely nothing was open. Thousand people walking here. Okay, we are in Brooklyn's second Hasidic community, Borough Park. Borough Park is located near Bay Ridge uh, in the southern part of Brooklyn, uh, about halfway between Bay Ridge and Prospect Park. And um, it's not as strict, um, strict Judaism as the Satmar, Satmar Hasidic, which is in Williamsburg. There are some Satmars here, but. Um, it's a little bit more mixed and not as strict as it is in Williamsburg, but you can still see the school buses written in Yiddish. This neighborhood's really dirty. So is the rest of Brooklyn. But anyways, it's very empty today. I think Shabbat's going on because it's Saturday and there's nobody out here. The neighborhoods. Have you ever seen New York City is empty? Like, where the hell is everyone? Yeah. All the businesses are closed today. As you can see, everything's closed for Shabbat. Because Williamsburg was actually pretty busy this morning. There were a lot of people in Williamsburg. Here in Borough Park, it's empty. Wow. We'll head through, I guess, some of the neighborhoods to see what's going on. Because um, there's really nothing going on in this street. And I don't think there's anything open today. I want to stop and get something to drink because I'm thirsty, but... We have some more of these houses. Look at all the bikes, man. Do you see all those little bikes? That's like, there are so many kids in these neighborhoods. It's crazy. There were two little girls hanging out on their porch, but as soon as they saw me, they ran. <laughs> crazy. I want to ask somebody why all the houses here have bars on the windows, but there's nobody to really ask. They probably won't give me an answer anyways. Probably... Although we were trying to pay for parking and one of the one of the Hasidic dudes was like, yeah, there's it's free parking on weekends. So that was nice of him. Haven't really interacted with any Hasidics other than that.
neighborhood also has a lot of Hispanics as well. Yeah, not as uh, conservative as Williamsburg, but it's still very, very religious here. Here goes some people. Everybody in this neighborhood is beast eaters. Remember that these neighborhoods are built under the largest welfare network in America. A lot of the Hasidics also, every, pretty much every building in these neighborhoods are listed as synagogues so they don't have to pay taxes or they have they don't have to pay as much taxes you know jewish people are smart <laughs> yeah so here's all the houses people are probably gonna have their shabbat dinners tonight where you gotta turn out all the lights no distractions nothing More of those scooters. We're back on 13th Avenue and what's really crazy is that they got their own police department over here. Look y'all, they got their own police department in this neighborhood. That's how like closed off they are that if you if you if you need to call the police you're not even going to call like the uh nypd you're not even going to call 911 you're going to call 808 the borough park division how interesting is that It's so filthy, man. And they all drive minivans too. Honda Odysseys and Toyota Sienna's is like the only things they drive because they got so many kids. Williamsburg was kept a lot cleaner than this area. This is so crazy. I can't get over it. I can't get over the fact that they got their own police department. Like, wow. Yeah, there's no nothing that's open, so I'm gonna head to another neighborhood to see what they got. Okay, so I am back home. That's going to pretty much finish the video about the Hasidic community in Brooklyn. Make sure to like, subscribe, and God bless to all you guys.